Hello everyone, Mike here, and this is a, a little heads up preamble to my video. I uh, recorded a couple of days ago, I pre-recorded the last version, the uh, second part to which was released earlier this week of Diversity 2, and when I go back to edit and render the video, I only ended up recording five minutes of it. Within that five minute time, which I'll be showing up next after this, I actually took, I actually did a lot more things after the fact. I believe I, uh, I'm going to cover some of the things I did here as a preamble before the um, information is done. As you can see, I've already created the golden apple and from Ed Spider I also got ready the redstone for when we go into another and I got the flint and steel. I proceeded on down to the ender portal. Uh, I started using water down to turn a lava into obsidian and I then began to go across the tightrope that was created to get to the nether portal and turns out the fact that there are now spawners in a blaze form also in that room hidden behind um, rock I think bedrock so you can't destroy them and or obsidian so it takes forever to break so I died and I lost a lot of not much but I lost my pants and my boots I also made a full set of iron armor and some iron tools. I also uh, got the Gerald bow, and I believe I, if I didn't do this, the previous episode, I did this episode, and I added unbreaking to it. And um, yeah, I began to set up a area to get back. I'm gonna cut here. That's about all I've done, um, I believe. So the next part you'll see is the five minutes pre-post or five minutes part before I stopped somehow stopped recording and then I'll continue on from where I left off there um, which will be me trying to get to the another portal I'm thinking of actually just making a tunnel to it because it's just to deal with the blazes in order to get into the then the nether it's uh, a little too much of a pain in the ass so I'll probably come back and the tunnel will be finished and everything like that I do apologize. That's something I was going to plan on doing off camera, anyways. So it's um, not going to really matter much on that end. But I didn't realize that the video edited as such. So that's it. That's just a prequel to what's going on and why I stop at the end of the five minute mark. I'll be somewhere else. So hope you guys enjoy the rest. Have a good day. Bye. Everyone, Mike here, and welcome to another Diversity 2. And we're going to set off to complete this task. So f in the last episode, we've done the anvil. In the previous episode, we got cooked salmon, pumpkin pie, and a black stained glass. Yeah, I remember because I, I named my episode uh, three out of whatever. So we're going to need to get a fermented spider eye, a golden apple, and a comparator and fire charge. So the golden apple is going to be pretty easy because I've got some gold smelting downstairs. I don't know if I have an apple or not. Um, is there one up here, maybe? No. There's some arrows, so I'll take the arrows. Let's head on down. I think I might have one either. We'll check and see if we got one downstairs. If not, then we're gonna do some I'm gonna do some tree chopping off camera for the next episode. And I think that'll probably be the last thing I gotta do, because I'm gonna head into another today as it is. So because I need uh to get the fermented spider eye. I think I'm gonna check and see if I have a spider eye and then compare it and fire charge. Those three I can get today done. Unless there's an apple in my chest down here. Then we're all good to go. Yep, there's an apple down here. Sweet. So I just need to get some more gold and an, a spider eye. So let's actually let's migrate stuff in my inventory around here. So I can show you what I'm going to do in a second. Take this that down there. This out of the, at least away from the bottom. Okay. So we got the golden we got the apple right there for the golden apple. And we'll make the fermented spider eye, just sugar, and that's done. So that can go over here. So let's go check and see how many pieces of gold I got. I don't think I have enough. Three pieces of gold. Okay. I know I saw some more gold in the mine. So I need eight pieces of gold all together. So we'll take this block of coal, turn it into some nugget uh, coal chunks, and stick it in here. Check on the farm. We got wheat and got some carrots and I got some potatoes. So I'm gonna get the potatoes. Give me my one torch. I'm gonna have to make 
lots of torches. So four taters can go in. I'll just take the carrots with me. They're not, they're not really great for anything. Food wise, they're not super great. If I stuck, if I wanted to waste some more iron, uh, gold, I just stick them in. Okay, but iron, which I need one piece for. I don't think I have any flint, so put the potatoes in there. It's kind of a waste of charcoal. Or coal. Oh well. I'm really not all that worried. So I'm going to put the book there. Put the potatoes right there. Get this out of my inventory. Get that out of my inventory. And I don't have no flint, so I have to grab some flint while I'm down there. I think I'll make a shovel. I need some wood. Let's see, I got bone meal. So what I'm going to do is I'll take some bone meal and my axe, which is in my inventory. I'm going to bone meal this tree over here. And make it grow. And waste all my bone meal. There we go. Okay. I just want the wood. I'm not really worried about saplings and whatnot. That should be good enough to make a shovel. Make an iron shovel, why not? I can afford it. Let's get rid of... No, I want the sticks. Get rid of that. That torch. That bow. The bone meal. The gunpowder. The polished andesite. I really don't need an extra bucket. I have a bucket of water on me. Put the torch down here. Put the carrots in the food spot. Make six sets of torches. And let's head off back down in here. Um, there's coal on this level. I think there's gold in one of these levels. I guess I'll look. I don't know if it's toward the top or toward the bottom. I'll just get it that way. It's toward the bottom. All right. I need to go down anyways because there's a cave there. So that's, I think, iron. That's redstone. That's emerald. That's a zombie. That's lapis. Boy, it's dark in this area. I thought I lit this area up. I don't think I did. Okay. I guess I didn't come on this floor. Show up on this floor. Or torch it up. I think the next floor is just, yeah, okay, caves. So we're just going to go down. Next floor. Up, please. Thank you. And I know I saw some gold in that cave. So that we, the uh, research facility. So we'll grab some of that gold. Because I need eight pieces of gold all together. And I believe on the other side of here there's a way up. So let's grab this. Take out some of this. And build way up. Barricade, and there's some gold right there. Right into another ravine. Sweet. And more gold right there. So. Oh, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not jumping on top of something. It's because that is not something we can walk on. Well, we can, but we can't just walk, walk on. Hello, everyone. And I do apologize uh, that there was a bit of a. Um, well, let's, let's do it like a politician and, and think about what we're going to say first before we do it. No. Um. Yeah, there was a bit of a weird mix-up with my recording. I do apologize, as I stated. I worked on this uh, area some more and off-camera. you kind of probably be glad I did that. I died a shit ton more than... And it wasn't funny deaths. It was rage-inducing death. Uh, so I, when I was working on this, I have enough to make the fire charge. So I didn't make it, so we'll take care of that. So the only thing we need now is one piece of quartz to finish up the comparator. So let's head on through to the uh, this side. Um, head through and uh, to the um, end portal, not end portal, nether, and uh, let's uh, get the last piece of quartz so we can end this BS. Hopefully, I do hope, uh, that, um, that's not going to work, I didn't think it would, and it was a torch. Alright, so, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to light this up so you guys can see. Okay. 
glass porch. I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to put in the water. And I'm going to back the fuck out. And do that. There we go. So we're going to take the water back. And drown in the process. I don't think I got the torch. So I do. Oh, there it is. Good. Didn't fall through. Do apologize for this. It's a bit dark in here. We'll fix that in a second. A boop. And we'll get rid of this. And this. But yeah, it, you guys wouldn't have enjoyed me building this thing. It was rage inducing so hard. Okay, we're ready to go through. Hopefully, it's just nether on the other side, not some freaking trap bullshit. Oh, there's my wolves. And no, it's not, thankfully. Okay, let's just get the. Never mind, poor guys. <sighs> I have a feeling we're not meant to be in here, but you know what? I particularly don't care no more. I enjoy making shit hard, and I've, you know, a lot of map makers have taken things from Vex, who is original, made the big, you know, Vexian maps and stuff like that, who made it hard for people, and, you know, trolled people, but when Vex did maps, I've never played it, but when I've watched people play Vex's maps, at least when Vex did stuff, he had a reason behind it. So if there was a big giant s nest of spawners for, um, let's see that spawner over there, I'm not going nowhere near it, for, um, say, withers, or not withers, um, spiders, the drops out of the spiders were worth the, um, don't go in the lava, were worth the thing, worth the time. So he told, he will tell you, don't destroy them, use them for your advantage. Unlike uh, Q Magnet, who decided to throw shit in there, be and a lot of other map makers, not only just the guy who created this map, but other ones, decided to just throw it in there for the lulls because they want to make it harder. If you're going to put in a shit ton of uh, spawners, make them useful. Don't just put them in there because you feel like doing it. it. Makes you look like a fucking douchebag, in my opinion. And that's just my opinion. It has nothing to do with anything else. But, it, you know, just adding shit for the lulls is just really douchey. And encasing it in. Abs uh, an inst Encasing it in bedrock makes it even more of such of a douchebag moment. If these blazes do not drop anything other than that, it's just a waste of time trying to get to where you need to go. And not only does it piss off the person who's doing the map, but it also pisses off the people who are watching the map if the person who's doing it fails a million fucking times trying to get something done. It's for only for the first five times, and then after that you get real pissed off. There's slime somewhere in here. Let's see, did I have anything else in there? Also fish for a little while, got some more food, but we're done. We're, I mean, we're done with this. There's there's no need. So this, 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 this. Okay. I don't need the redstone for anything. So the recipe for a comparator is this. Let's make sure it's a comparator because I don't want to have to go through that crap again. Okay. Okay, we got the anvil done, the cooked salmon done, pumpkin pie is done, got the golden apple, just have to put it in there, black sink, glass is done, got this, okay, yep, let's compare, that's all I want to know. I don't want to have to go through this crap anymore. It's got to the point where I, I just want to take this map and shove it. It's not fun. It's gotten to the point where it's not fun. So if any of you out there who played the first one thinks it's going to be an easy cakewalk, don't. I've never played the first one, never had a chance to play the first one, but it's just not, it's, it, it's become, it's just, just rage inducing at the moment, and I can understand why someone would do that, but it wasn't an easy breeze, but, and I don't expect shit to be easy, but at least if I'm going to play something like a Vexian style map or a Vex map, I know that there's a reason behind why there's a million spawners in one area, because those million spawners are going to spawn something in. It's not only... Okay. It's not only my opinion, but a lot of other YouTubers kind of have that same opinion. And the reason why they stop playing adventure maps is because of the concept of it just becoming rage-inducing after a while. And it's not really good for a map creator to do. It really isn't. Okay. There's that. I'm done. Okay, I'm going to place it in the monument. Because this has probably already been 15 minutes, but... Um, okay. And 
that's kind of cool. The clay changes every time you get a new block. And I'm going to end it off here. Um, next time we'll go through the random number generator again. It will choose our next level and hopefully it won't be super rage inducing. But if it has anything to do with um, parkour or dropper or parkour because I think dropper is the one I'm saying for last. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in my butt. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.